Hi there, this is Tom Crowley. Since you're new here and this is a brand new technology for teaching ventriloquism, I want to share some of the features of this site with you. After you watch this video, if you've signed up for the free lessons, you'll be able to go up into the navigation bar and under free lessons, lesson one will appear right here. Click on that and it will take you to the first lesson. Each one of the 36 lessons on this site start out with a high definition video, followed by written instructions. These written instructions are not just a transcription of the video. At times, I include additional information. So to get the most out of each lesson, first watch the video and then read the written instructions. When you get to the member side of the site, at that point, you'll definitely want to read these because sometimes I include links to PDFs which have homework assignments. You'll want to right click and save those so you can print them out and you'll have them for your practice sessions. So after you watch lesson one, how do you get to lesson two? You can't. This entire course is time released. Even if you had the link, you could not get there. So how do you get there? You wait. 24 hours after the first lesson, you'll receive an email. If you don't receive the email, check your spam folder. It will come from info at learn-ventriloquism.com. If it ends up in your spam folder, add that email address to your contact list to avoid that in the future. In that email, you'll find a link to lesson two. When you log into the site and go to that link, you'll then find that in the navigation bar, lesson two has appeared under the free lessons heading. These will not be there yet. Each day, a new lesson is added. You can go back and review earlier lessons, but you can't jump ahead. If you join the course after the fifth lesson, you'll maintain access to all of these. If you don't, they're going to disappear, and the only way to get them back is to sign up for the free lessons again. If you decide to join the site, when you get to the Members section, things start to change. Under the Members lessons, we have headings. You'll notice here Lip Control, Distant Voices, Scripts and Comedy, Puppet Technique, Practice Tips, and Creating a Show. And if you look under here, you'll notice that at some, we jump from Lesson 8 to Lesson 14. Why is that? After this course is over, you maintain access to this site. If you decide you want to come back and study scripts and comedy, you shouldn't have to look through each lesson. We place them under the headings so they're easy for your review. But that is why they jump around. So it's always good to click on the link in the email to take you to the current lesson. Under lip control, you'll notice that we have lesson six, and then lesson seven, and lesson eight is somewhere else. That's because you're going to need to work on certain lessons for multiple days. And rather than just let you sit at home and work on these lessons, I like to share additional information, stuff that's fun to learn and you can play with while you're practicing your lip control. When you get to the tough letters like B, F, M, P, and V, you'll want to hover over this labials tab. And when they're released, they'll be over on this side. I did that for two reasons. One, it keeps all your labials together, and two, if I had them all under this section, they'd go off the bottom of the screen. I do believe that these videos on F, V, especially P and B, are some of the best that have ever been created for teaching those sounds. And I think once you watch them, you'll enjoy them. I know you're going to enjoy this site. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll see you inside.